And I'm incredibly grateful to uh, seeing Bill and his team there get uh, out on the tarmac waiting for me. It's just uh, the greatest, greatest feeling I can ever remember having. Uh, to my family, I was able to get little, little hints of what was going on occasionally throughout the experience. If I was outside of the prison in court, uh, maybe some police aide that could speak a little bit of English would flash a picture on his phone of uh, my entire family wearing t-shirts with my face on it on CNN, which was a pretty, pretty bizarre thing to see sitting in a courtroom there. Um, so I was, I was aware, and I, I know my brother. I know what he's capable of and how he works. Uh, so I, I assumed, I did not know the extent of it, but I assumed something was going on out there. Um, and and that, that, that gratitude, I mean, I spent the last 15 hours on the flight just looking at the coverage across the country and these places that I've lived and uh, seeing people sort of remembering me and pulling together and it's just it's incredible I just have so much gratitude right now for everything everyone's done All right. we will have we'll open up for questions immediately after uh, after the governor's so I'm gonna take time to celebrate and to spend time with my family and then you know continue concentrating on all the other not just journalists and, and prisoners of conscience in Myanmar and everywhere else for me in Myanmar, uh, just a lot of citizens, doctors, teachers that are in prison right now. Uh, and, you know, that's another point that everybody here is reiterating. This is, this will be a, a short little celebration, but, you know, let's, let's keep focused on what the actual story is here. Kid, if I take my mask off. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to ask, well, how did this happen? Well, it happened because of this collaborative effort. But it also happened because of these, uh, what was decisive was a meeting, uh, four meetings that Mickey mentioned with the commander in chief. And I said to him, this would be a gift a humanitarian gesture to the American people. And this was the right thing to do. This was a journalist doing his job. This was a journalist reporting on what was happening. And he shouldn't suffer. What was the best moment? And that was at the airport in Myanmar. Seeing Danny walk towards me with all these security people around him. And I said to him, Danny, I'm taking you home. I'm taking you back to the United States today. Today. He said, great. 